it's lovely to see so many people <laughs> smile. I, I know, it's just crazy, right? Like, it, just, it does, it gives you like yeah. warm feeling and just yeah. uh, it's doing the right thing. It definitely makes the world seem like a friendlier place when you're surrounded by smiling, happy people. 100%, right? yeah. <laughs> And I can see, honestly, how addictive it would be yeah. just going out for a ride with cigarettes. And it, it's amazing, he said, you, you know, you've done a lot of cycling, but you don't do the cycling, I'm just let you go, there's a car coming, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's amazing how you've changed your habits now as well, Travis, because of really how Sigrid makes you feel when you go out for a ride. Yeah, yeah. Now... Um, what I would just like to quickly talk about though yeah. is I wouldn't advise anyone to go and start sticking the pet in a basket on a bike. I agree with that, yeah. Um, yeah. That is probably a little bit of a, a safety message that I <laughs> probably need to get across. How did you start doing it, mate? And, and what, what steps did you make to make sure that it was going to be safe? Well, I, you know, I've been walking her since she was a small kitten, so she's she's been leash trained right from the start. Okay. Um, so she, you know, before we even got on the bike, she was at the point where she would never fight the leash. She was very comfortable being close to me, very comfortable, you know, being outside and having distractions and stuff. Yes. Um, and so aside from that, you know, she, she's so used to being outside that by the time I put her in the basket, and of course she's tethered to the basket, so yep. she can't go anywhere. Yeah. Um, she, it, it was just business as usual for her. Okay. I'm just going to move back in as a car yeah, coming, yeah. mate. Yeah, I just don't want people to then start yeah. uh, throwing their animals in a basket and then, you know, just going out for a ride and yeah. not have, taking the, the appropriate precautions. We, so. we have quite a bit of people that, that have done that, you know, been like inspired by us. Yes. But they primarily live in like rural areas. So they're going out on park trails Yes. and being very cautious. Yes. Where, you know, I certainly wouldn't recommend anyone to jump into doing this in London, you know, no. like, like I've have an enormous amount of experience riding in cities so for me absolutely i feel safe but i wouldn't want to you know and i i can see that with how you ride as well travis you well switched on to you <laughs> know you. hazards yeah. and dangers around you um and everything we've done today has been super safe as well which is yeah. well, a real important thing yeah. But yeah, you know, like I said before, I, I, I kind of disagree with the viewpoint that cycling is inherently dangerous. I, I think it's, you know, cars can be dangerous, <laughs> but... Uh, Motorcycling's dangerous, but when I've ever ridden a motorbike, I've never come close to having a big deal over it. So right. I still think it's how you operate it. Yeah, yeah, I tend to agree with that. So, you know, if, if you are wanting to take your cat out, uh, you, you need to be aware that you you have to be a good cyclist. Your you levels should, have to be up, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. So, you know, if you're someone who rides your bike, you know, once a month or something, you might want to rethink it. She might not be to the place where you can be very totally safe, you know. Well, that was a nice pass, huh? Yeah, it was a nice pass. That's why I stuck the thumb up in there <laughs> and thanked him as well. 